forward to the sunshine, and Aaron's here now. Hi. Hey. Happy Monday. Yeah. yeah. Feels like a Monday, doesn't it? Yeah. It does a little bit. But Monday now we're going to we're gonna try and make you forget about it a little bit. All right. right. All right, so first we're talking Challenge about... Challenge accepted. <laughs> the cutest feet I've ever seen. It and will work. <laughs> it might work. It might work. An animal that had a bit of an accident and a cup of coffee that everyone's talking about. Ugh. Ugh. First up, a very cute royal post this Mother's Day. Yesterday, the Instagram account for Meghan and her prince, Harry, shared a photo of the feet of their little baby, Archie. Now, the caption reads, quote, paying tribute to all mothers today, past, present, mothers-to-be, and those lost but forever remembered. We honor and celebrate each and every one of you, end quote. Forget-me-nots are in the background right there, and those were the favorite flowers of Archie's late grandmother, Princess Diana. Megan's bridal bouquet also included those forget-me-nots. That is a sweet oh, post. Oh, God. look at that. I love baby feet. I love baby <laughs> shoes. I don't know if that's really weird. I, like, when you're at the store, look how cute they're so little. Like, the mini Converse and yes. stuff. So, I don't know. I thought this was real cute on Mother's Day. Yeah, nice that was that sweet. Pay tribute to Princess Diana, too. Really cute. Well, taking a turn now. Yeah, a rescue crew fielded the call of a drowning yesterday in Florida. When the crews got there, they found a horse standing in a pool where it had fallen Aww. in three feet of water. A deputy got into the pool in his uniform to help calm down the port, the horse, they say. They got it out of the pool safely. It's not uncommon for animals to find their way into Florida pools there. Iguanas, alligators, and bears have all been known to take the plunge. Uh, I, I, how could he have been drowning, though? Is he way taller than that? That's what I don't get, but water, apparently but, he's, right. like, in distress. Yeah, I'm sure that's frightening. Uh, three feet of water out. for a little while. I, I don't know. I don't know how this happens. It was a call for love, a drowning, but I don't think it actually was. I love when, like, there's, like, bears chilling on the yeah. side with their arms. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, like in, in the hot, in the yeah, hot. Yeah, the hot like, all they need is a little so cocktail, funny. and they're just chilling, hanging out. What would you do if you went in your backyard and just saw, like, uh, that, any of these? And it, probably call 911. Well, that would grab the phone. phone yeah, take a phone, video before video. you call 911. Because no one's going to believe you, know you if you don't have the video. It's true. If you ain't got it, pictures, it didn't happen. Pics or it didn't happen. That's right. Yep. All right. Would you pay? How much would you pay for a good cup of Joe? A couple bucks. A couple dollars. Two, four, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. What about 75? Would you pay that? Nope. No. That's what San Francisco <laughs> Coffee House is charging for what is being dubbed the world's most expensive coffee. Imported from Panama, Alita Geisha 803 coffee costs roughly $800 three dollars per pound nope. but after being roasted skyrockets up to twelve hundred a pound <gasps> just how no. good could this taste Our, i mean i guess if you got if you got the money I, sure I don't, I don't know brian what do you think about that that's a lot of money no. like 75 dollar cup of coffee yes. yeah yeah you do you, it you would? you're in you try it yeah. all right yeah, yeah all right I heard he's in. He, uh. You were talking. He goes, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. Seventy-five bucks is too much. I even think five dollars is a lot yeah. for a cup of coffee. It's so, a lot, yeah. Not down for this one, but we want to know what you guys have to say. I think this is the easiest uh, poll I've ever had. I'm I not think sure. um, a lot of people are. We're gonna have some good comments on this one. Yeah. If you I'm say feeling. yes, you owe us an explanation. If yeah. you're not like a billionaire, and a cup of coffee. <laughs> because that would be great. Yeah. Um, let us know what you think of this price. If Comment. You're not like a billionaire. <laughs> right. If you are a billionaire, call us. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> let us know. Kidding. We'll go with you to try it. Get a, get a call from the governor. <laughs> we have to interview him. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. Well, let us know. You guys go to our Facebook page, like we said. But still to come on The Morning Show, we're learning all about an organization that gives kids the opportunity to play ball. Two members of the Tom Jones Challenger League in Champaign-Urbana are here with us this morning. They're going to tell you how you can volunteer this season. Plus, we're getting some help with the forecast today. Brian Williams is here to tell us if the sun will keep on shining. You're going to meet him in today's KidCaster. Give us a wave. There you go.